everybody, my name is Miranda and I'm one of the hygienists that works here at CPW. And I want to thank you for coming on over and checking out our video on the water flosser. I'm going to show you today how to use this strange device and make your life a little bit easier. Sometimes it's a little complicated, but once you get the hang of it, it's really easy. So we love the water flosser here at CPW. I personally really love recommending it to my patients because a lot of patients I understand don't take the time or they don't like to take the time to floss. So this really is the next best thing. I highly recommend manual flossing. I think it's the most effective. However, this is like runner up, second hand, you know, if you don't like to floss, you use the water flosser. Uh, so I just want to go over a couple tips and tricks so that you're not confused when you get at home and, and use it. So most likely you're here because your hygienist at CBW has recommended that you use a water flosser or you've decided to embark on the better health and oral gum cavity journey and, and invested yourself into a water flosser and it's great. Um, I really recommend using this instrument in the shower. It might sound a little weird but it kind of splashes a lot and the water gets everywhere. Um, but it's effective. So I think the easiest place, especially if you live in New York City and you have a small apartment, um, it's less cumbersome on your counter space if you just stick it in the shower uh, and use it then. Um, you only need to use it for about a minute. It doesn't take long. It's very easy to use. So there's no reason why you can't incorporate it into your daily life. And I'm excited to show you how to use it. Uh, first and foremost, when you take it out of the box, make sure that it's charged. So the charger here, this is our fancy water pick floss or cordless advance. And the charger here is magnetically connected. So you just pop it on, voila, like magic. And when you plug it in, the light should turn on, showing you that it's charging. If the light doesn't turn on, then most likely it's not charging. So just double check and make sure that you're not having any manufacturer problems. Um, we're happy to help you here, but also the customer service is excellent. So if you have any questions, um, make sure it's charged about you know four to six hours or so before use. It comes with a little bit of a charge in the beginning, but just so that it doesn't die on you, make sure it's all charged up. The second thing you want to do is go ahead and fill the basin up. So you'll see here, it's just got a little port and you open on that up. It doesn't, it doesn't detach. So just fill up with water, your regular tap water, and close it. And you're pretty much good to go. So with the water flosser, you are, and I'll show you a more in-depth close-up about this, but you're really flushing out uh, up and underneath the gums because that's where your plaque leave, lives and you want to remove it. So the whole point of the water flosser is to blast it out with the water. And it's going to help reduce uh, bacteria, it's going to help uh, reduce gingivitis, which is the infection of the gum that usually the first sign is bleeding and swollen and soreness. Uh, it's going to help tremendously clean out areas up and underneath bridges, implants, braces are phenomenal. The water flosser, I swear by it for my patients with braces. Um, and any other, you know, lingual bars, things like that, um, makes life so much easier with the water flosser. It's got three settings. <laughs> We've got high, medium, and low. I recommend starting at like around a medium range or so. You can start off low, but then definitely want to work your way up to high. High is a little intense in the beginning, and your gums, especially if they do have a little bit of gingivitis going on, are going to be very sensitive. So I would start at like a low slash medium, and then eventually build yourself up to a high power source, just because the higher it is, the more plaque is going to be removed easier. Um, and once you get there, you know, you should really probably be in the rhythm at that point. Okay, so this particular water flosser comes with four tips. So this tip is very similar to the tip that we have on. It's actually exactly the same. So it just comes in two different colors. So this is your standard water pick tip. It's great for blasting out all that bacteria and water, but what I really love are these extra added attachments. So between these two different ones, they have bristles on them. So this white attachment here, this one's great for braces. It's a little bit more condensed with bristles, so you're allowed to really buff up against the tooth and wipe away the plaque as the water is shooting through and removing and, and, removing and flushing the bacteria away. Also, we have the blue tip here with these like three little prongs. These are great too for braces, also lingual bars, you know, your implants and your bridges as well. Both of them are really, really great. So just try and see which one you like better and which one's more effective for you in removing the plaque. But it's great that you have these options. So how to change the tips is really easy. This is an eject button. So you just press it and pull it out. And then what you can do is you can put the stopper in and you can press it back in 
and let it go. Really easy to change the tips. Okay, so to fill it up, it's really easy. You're just going to pop open that from the sink and pour it on in. So I'm going to show you on this tooth model how to properly use the water flosser up and against the gums. So like I said, it's great to do it in the shower or hovering over the sink because it does splash in a lot of different areas. So what you want to do, I have it on low here so it doesn't splash everywhere. And you really want to be focusing on the sulcus of the gum. So when you're using the water flosser, you're tracing over each tooth about, you know, five times or so. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Really angling the water pick down into the sulcus so that it splashes out. And when you're working on the top, you're gonna to be angling towards the top. Same thing with what you're doing when you're brushing. You know, you're angling towards the top when you're brushing and then you're gonna angle towards the bottom um, when you're brushing as well. Same thing with the water flosser. So this is a good space so you can just see how much is blasted out from in between. So if I turn on my device here, there you go, see? Boom, boom, boom. And we're just tracing. So, moving on to our front teeth, it's going to look like this. Tracing. Okay, so for those of you who do want to use it around their sink, I highly suggest leaning into the sink and letting the water drip from your mouth and the device into the sink because it's going to get everywhere. So just kind of want to show you an idea of what it might look like on the medium setting, for example. Um, so you want to hold the water flosser, you know, like not pretty close to your gums, but it's okay if you hold it a little bit farther away. I find that you're more precise if you go closer that you hold it. So it looks like this, okay? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay, so that's pretty much it. That's what it looks like. It does splash a lot and it gets pretty messy. So like I said, I think the shower is your best option. Um, if you can even get a little shower mirror uh, for accurate precision, it would be great. But um, good luck. And if you have any questions, ask your hygienist here at SPW. We'll see you soon.